hello, it's Vicky Fraser from Moxie Books here and today I've got a top tip about tone of voice, writing, writing tone of voice, um, which was a question that was put to me in the power hour the other day, www.moxiebooks.co.uk forward slash power hour in case you want to join us. Um, and so somebody asked about tone of voice and what kind of a tone of voice you should have if you're, for example, writing a blog post and should that be different from um, an email that you're sending to a client or from the tone of voice that you use on one of your landing pages, perhaps, for example. And it's a really good question. And there are lots of different writing styles. Um, you know, people think, oh, I need to be professional, whatever that means. And usually that means that they um, put on a metaphorical stuffed shirt and then sound really dull. Um, and there's a couple of, a couple of reasons for that, I think. F f first of all, because um, it's a confidence thing. People maybe aren't confident writing. If you don't write very often, um, you tend to kind of sit down and write, now I'm writing and I need to sound like this type of person. Um, and so you come out sounding a little bit like a, a stuffed shirt, which is, is, you know, it's not great. Um, and so my simplest, the simplest advice that I give to people is to not worry about um, the different mediums in which you are talking to somebody. So have in mind the person that you're talking to, and you, you usually can have in mind one person, especially if you're writing to an actual client, there's going to be one person in mind, and just think about how you would say what you need to say if you're talking to them face to face. So, and that's usually quite conversational. It's, it's a bit like I would be talking to you now. And this, the reason for this is really important. First of all, because we're building relationships um, and all, all of that kind of thing, we're being friendly. Second of all, because we want to be understood. It's really difficult to understand that kind of corporate businessy jargon speak, the textbook bullshit. Um, nobody wants to listen, nobody wants to read that, nobody wants to listen to it, and it's difficult to understand. And so your message needs to be clear, um, you need to be friendly, we're building relationships. And finally, I don't want people to meet me and think, oh, she doesn't sound anything like the person that I thought I got to know. And so I very deliberately, in every communication that I put out there, in my, whether it's in a book um, or in a, an email or a podcast or whatever, I always sound like me, like, you know, a, a similar version of me, depending on the mood and what I'm, the, that I'm in and what I'm talking about. But I always sound like me. I've got a really good story about that. Um, one of my clients, Sarah, uh, the first time I met her at an event I was running, she <laughs> she ran into me and Joe in the hallway and was like, hi, and kind of greeted us like old friends. And I, at this point, didn't really know who she was because I'd only seen a photograph of her. Um, and we'd literally just arrived at the hotel. And it was really funny. And I was just like, hi. Um, uh, because I didn't know who it was, but she knew me. She knew me really well. She knew Joe really well because she'd been listening to all of our podcasts. She'd read all my emails for years. She'd read my book. Um, so she knew who I was and a lot about me. And that's perfect. That's exactly what I want when people to meet me is to be like, oh, I feel like I've known you forever. And then to get to know me in, re in person and be like, oh, you're exactly like you are in your emails or in your books or your videos. That's perfect. That's how I want it to be. So that's my top tip for today. If you're worried about tone of voice, if you're worried about sounding professional, um, ditch the worry about professional because professional means simply doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. Um, and just work on sounding like yourself, your own voice. And the only way you're going to get good at doing that is to practice. So have a wonderful day. Um, join the power hour, which is the perfect opportunity for you to practice writing a lot and practice this voice of yours. Um, and it's moxiebooks.co.uk forward slash power hour. And we would love to see you there. Bye.